Now, if you're having problems with Valorant here and you're getting the VAN9003 error in Windows 11 when you're playing, well, there are a few things that you could try doing here. Now, first things first is you may want to change a few settings here for Valorant. So you want to go to your search bar here and just type in Valorant, search for the game itself, right click on it, and you want to go to the option here that says Open File Location. Now, once you do see it, you want to go and right click on it again. And you want to go and choose the open file location again until you see the Riot Client Services.exe. Now, what you need to do is you want to go and right click on this one and you want to go to properties. And under properties, you want to go ahead and go to compatibility. Now, in here, you may want to enable the following. So it's going to be disable full screen optimization and also run this program as administrator. Once you've done that, go and click on apply, click on OK, and see if that actually helps. Now, also, once you've done this, you may want to restart your PC and see, again, and see if that helps. Now, the next thing that you want to do, if just in case that's, that does not work for you, well, the final thing that you could try doing here is to basically enable secure boot. Now, the thing with enabling secure boot here, this actually depends on your PC. Now, usually it's going to be either F1, F2, F10, F12, delete, or even escape keys. Uh, that you need to press while your PC is actually, actually booting up in order for you to go into your BIOS. Now, by the way, accessing your BIOS is something really important, important if you want to enable your uh, secure or your uh, secure boot here. So typically, again, depends on your PC. So you may need to look at your PC, see what brand. So specifically, it's going to be your motherboard. So go ahead and just look at your mother motherboard and see what's the brand and what's the key that you need to press while it's putting up in order for you to go into BIOS. But once you've done that, usually you should be able to see an option or a screen that you need to navigate to. Now, again, like what I said, it depends on what you are or what you currently have. So in some cases, it may be under security and under there, you just need to look for a secure booth. That is for Asus Rock or Asus devices or Asus motherboards. Now, you also have this one. So uh, it may be under the boot settings and also it may be just something like this one. So it might be under system configuration. Again, like what I said before, this charity depends on what PC you currently have right now. So it's best to uh, basically search what model you currently have right now or what brand and see what are the steps or specific steps in order for you to view your or, or to enable secure boot. But that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.